This is a trip that we made on New Year's Day out to an island called Antelope Island in the middle of the Great Salt Lake. It is known for uh, lots of shoreline and also buffalo. This is another field trial that we had done two summers ago. He is great with the gun, great with things. Uh, this is a little bit of the trail riding that we do in southern Utah, Red Rock country. I think I am more scared on hills than the horses are. This is um, a few of the areas and trails that we ride there. Obviously this is a puckering hill ride, trail ride. The horse has been ridden by great riders and brand new riders and everybody in between. Loads like a dream, unloads like a dream, rides in the middle, front, back, doesn't much care. He's in about the middle of the pecking order with the other horses. This is kind of a double track, sandy area. Has a real soft lope if you want him to as a real good, good, solid, go all day trot. She's just kind of going through his different gates. This is, uh, I'm filming from up above. If you'll notice behind, there's a herd of buffalo that's probably about 20. She's about 45, 50 feet away from them. The horse is game broke, bird broke, bike broke, trail distraction broke. Um, and as you can see from this video, it doesn't pay attention to the buffalo. They don't pay attention to us either. We try to keep our distance as much as possible from the buffalo. This is just dropping off the top portion of a little hill, dropping down through the ravines. He is very cautious, takes very good care of the rider and himself going up and down. Very, very balanced with his back feet. This is him showing off his billy goat skills in the rocks. Once again, he knows where his feet are, picks through this well, and very willing. No lunge to get up on things, a step.
Just a little single track here. Sometimes the middle of the trail has ice on it. Does an excellent job going around corners and maintaining his gait. Very focused on the trail. This is my oldest daughter riding him here. She's 20. We switched riders here. This is my 15 year old daughter. This is not her horse. This is actually her second time riding this horse. I just want you to see the versatility of this particular horse. She's going to take him up a trail here in a minute, or not up a trail, but just up the side of a mountain. Very, very rocky, and then at the end of this, she will just show you his trail skills and his ability to maintain his gait on a rocky, kind of gnarly trail that he's able to just navigate at appropriate speeds. I feed my horses a tin of grain a day and then they have access to grass hay. I do not feed alfalfa to this horse. He is an easy keeper. He's not overly food motivated. With this horse we have done lots of overnight camping. He will highline, he will hobble, he will pick it. He will just stand in a field and eat if the other horses are hobbled. I have never worried about him. He is a horse that likes to be with you and next to you. There's no panic to this horse. She does not ride with spurs and this horse naturally just breaks into his gait very, very comfortably, very smooth.
trail here is less than perfect. It's rock laden. This is just a little snippet of how easy he is to bridle. I don't have him cross-tied, he's just standing. Very patient with imperfect hands. Easy with all four feet. I ride, trail ride with hobbles, so if we get a minute for them just to graze, I will carry one on the saddle and just hobble them when we're on the trail. Give them a breather while we eat lunch or take a break. Stands dead still to mount, saddle, unsaddle. Very, very easy to tack up. This horse has been crawled over and under by kids for years. Saddles thrown at him and on him and mistakes and he's a very forgiving horse, very kind horse. Easy to catch in a field, loves attention. Thank you for watching the video. If you have questions, my number's on the ad.